Professor Kiss here. I want to show you how to calculate the standard deviation of a portfolio. Now, this is just a two asset portfolio. I have show, put on Canvas a how someone else calculated a multi-asset portfolio. So we're going to set this up in Excel and I'm going to share now my Excel with you. So you can see I've got here two companies, Lowe's and Hewlett Packard, and I have already put in their returns for five years. Now there are functions in Excel. The function to use to get the arithmetic mean is the average function, and I have done that for um, lows here, the function that we use to get the standard deviation of a sample, and this is just a sample, it's just five years uh, or six years of operations, is stdev.s for sample. So let me do that again. So here I'm going to go to function and I am going to click write out the word average. Actually, I've used it recently, so I can just click on it, say okay. And then it asks me to put in the numbers that I am using that I want the average of, and I click okay, and there it is. Now for the standard deviation, it is done similarly. Um, I go to function and the one I want is standard deviation of a sample. And again, I want just these numbers. Do not include the average in there. Now I'm going to combine these two stocks in a portfolio, 30% of Lowe's and 70% of Hewlett Packard. And so what I have done is just go 30% times what's in cell B2 and 70% of what is in cell C2. And I'm gonna just click on the corner. You see it turns that into a plus and copy this down. Now I also can copy across and get the average function and the standard deviation. So I just click on the corner of the Excel and there it is. So you can see that we have here an average return. And because this portfolio is 70% Hewlett Packard, we have reduced the standard deviation of both portfolios. Um, we've reduced the standard deviation here. We have reduced the we have increased the average return we have a return and a standard deviation and you can see how to calculate those in excel so thank you very much for your attention